And Gwen, of course, in this position, when you have so much CC elsewhere on the map, I think it's much more set up for success. The early lane we'll have to keep track of, but as you go later in the game, the Jin, the Corky, the Brand, all want to operate at such long range. Using the minion wave as Very. a kind of wall, but they're suspicious. Here we go. Renato, concussive blows, the Braun passive, really the big thing that matters here. Hansama already marked up. Mickey trying to stop Alvaro from getting any further. Two, three, and four. This is a massively MDK paper trade thus far, but the client's now coming in. Super taking a decent amount of damage. Four shot. Evening things up a bit, but Hansama still taking damage. Finally able to reload. Mickey full committing here. No ignite to finish the kill. Hansama wants to four shot. Oh! There it is! One left in the chamber. Puts it to work. A beautiful fourth shot from Hansama. It was just setting up for the play. Now we turn our attention to top. Broken Blade level two. Tamir one's level three, wave crashing, El Yoya on the way in. Might just be about getting XP at this point. Can he turn this back? So much CC now going down, he's locked up briefly. El Yoya gonna fall! Disaster on the top side. Broken Blade gonna get up one or two creeps, but otherwise an even trade. And Aatrox, not a champion who loses gracefully. Gonna need a lot of time and a lot of items if he's put into deficit to really be that threat. So MDK, I think they found the weakness in the armor. They're gonna push again, but Yike is here to cover it again. It will fail. This time, Broken Blade keeps his life, and MDK walk away empty-handed. The top. Going just fine thus far as they try to push in. Level four for both supports. Means there's not a lot to get here. Frescawi at least threatening. Trying to get his wave in a good state. The idea behind this Yone pick is to all the pick potential of the Ash, and Super on this Ash is now going to have to show us the same. He's been moved up towards the top side. MDK set the sights on Broken Blade once more. Broken Blade. Almost level six. In trouble, but he's been here before. Level six now comes through. Extra healing. Nice sidestep on the initial piece of CC. Q3 buys a bit more time, but it's just not enough. MDK, well played. Third member, the difference maker there. Two, not enough. Push. Mid control as well. Caps doesn't have TP as he looks to base. Seems like a difficult contest for G2. MDK, attention now to try and shift this into bot side. See if they can find some pressure towards Hansam and Mickey. Otherwise, you look at the top left corner of your screen a minute until those void grubs, a potential six grub buff. And actually, they're just going to go for the reset now. So I imagine Hansam and Mickey are going to waltz their way up towards top side. The mid laner now move across. It's two members of MDK trying to delay this, but Supa's resetting. Mirwin's bot side with no teleport. And it's six grubs with a patient game from G2. It certainly is, Dagda. I mean, you. Called it out clearly, each step. G2 handled well. Six scrubs secured for G2. G2 has found their stride again. They understand how they want to approach the game. This Corky has been massive for Caps, and Hansama continues to impress. A man who didn't get a huge amount of praise over the course of the year, but the map, it's G2. They pushed away man and top. They have the pressure in bots. The TP flank bots. Not going to Hansama. Decent. Do they have the follow through? Concussive blows lands. That's big. Mirwin on the backside. They're looking to collect a bounty quickly on the chain. A bit of revenge for the bot lane murder earlier on. Donated to Frescawi. Massive shutdown for the Yone. A good pick. Ooh. It costs a lot, but it's worth the price. The guard down to cover caps in the mid lane. So he doesn't even really get the push on top side. G2, not in a position to fight back at all. Great use of the TP from MDK. Just. Uh, a creative way of finding an angle of attack. It splits Hansama and Mickey up. Yeah. You have to be a little bit careful. Sorry, I yeah, think. <laughs> you have to be a little bit careful here as um, MDK, though, because yes, you're going to end up taking this top side, but there's still moments where I want to see if they're able to control this play on mid, because even though you have Rift Herald, it's very easy for G2 to collapse on you incredibly quickly. They already burnt the TP from Irwin on towards this spot side play. You can't really look for any sort of play in the mid turret until you have that teleport back up. So MDK needs to play patient over the next few minutes. Just wait until they can try and fight G2 on a deep footing. Broken Blade getting aggressive, knows that he has Mickey on the way in. All oh, the oh, over oh. from Frescow, he is clean. He we'll walk the, away. He has the flash. Second to Yike. <laughs> Is uh, the Grubs remain really good at taking towers. No creep wave needed. A single one will do. And it's hilarious to see because G2 at the start of the year were a Void Grub team. They would so consistently look for this six Grub buff, but they kind of disappeared with this and decided it wasn't really worthwhile. We go for Dragons instead, but now they're coming back. And Mirwin, does he hop over the wall? Oh, now Mickey? Mirwin waiting. Does a lot of damage. The Shroud, though, going to fade away. Moves out of it to reset the cooldown, at least for a brief moment. Gives himself a bit more time. And now Telio, he's been caught out. Curtains have been called. Down goes the boar. Alvaro going to try his best to body block. Which is a single pick for G2. It was MDK setting up a pick. 
Yeah, it's G2 setting up for the rotation to catch the bot wave. Invest the... Wait, maybe I missed saw. No, oh, no, he doesn't invest yeah, the ultimate. That's the ulti gone. And that's everything gone. Caps sees his window. Team fight power gone. Flash forward. Perfectly aimed. Mickey. Uh, yet another kill for G2. And just quick punishments as Mirren tries to step up. He already used the shroud, so there's nothing that can stop Mickey's ultimate crashing down on top of him. And so you just kind of have to concede the dragon, and that means the bit by bit more control. I say that, and BK is posturing. Need to fight, want to find an angle. Lock up there, Broken Blade immediately goes on to Super. Super really no room to play at all. Forced to use the arrow early. Knocking from Alvaro to keep his 80 carry standing. Press Galli over the wall, four shot for Han Sama. Gwen? Not gonna matter much, but the curtain is called. The angle hitting the rocket to follow. Alvaro body blocks the four shot. They walk past the push that a little bit too late, but Mirren just wasn't there. He tried the TP for a flank, and G2, they'd already gone for the engage. We talked about these item spikes and how crucial they are for G2. Down, forcing Prescali to come back, but he has the Q3 to escape. That said, Caps completely unafraid, but the damage for Prescali is big. Needs to be perfect here. Dashes in, one more soul inbound. Dash through, Caps gonna be able to find him. Q3, hoping to find it, can snap back, but doesn't have the time. There's no tenacity for the Yone. He's easy pickings for that Leona. Oh, good. They took down G2. Maybe this rookies could do and things. Flash, Mirwin locked up. This is big. The Gwen damage, their sole source of a lead. Now they're able to fire back, but the current call is finally here. Oh, and it's the miss phase. G2 strike back. Super trying to backstep as best he can, but Broken Blade, despite the deficit, his team is there to carry the fight through a triple for your MVP. The rookies are being slaughtered. G2 have no respect for what could have been. They want to end this. They want to make it what should have been. Prescali trying to find the 1v1, should still be favored, but the root from Hansama! Oh! oh! It's rage inducing! It could have been his, but the Jin was there from 3,000 range to seal the deal. And now the Baron falls in favor of G2 MDK. They wanted to upset the apple cart. They wanted to tell us a new story, not Fnatic and G2, something different. A siege on bot side may be the undoing of MDK. The Baron available still for two more minutes. An angle. They want Caps. Caps. Their eyes on the prize. It'll likely cost them a tier two, maybe more. But Caps trying to come through, trying to find the damage. Going in onto Mirwen. Thinks he can win the 1v1 in the meantime. Needlework coming in. A thousand gold to Mirwen for the top side. What else will they give? What else will they pay for the shutdown onto Caps? The, bra the base falling apart. The tower breaking. But the inhibitor still stands. A desperate maneuver the side of MDK. Time. Wait for that opportunity. You're kind of doing everything you can to find that miracle play. Super though, what he's already doing? there. The curtain's open. MDK overconfident the arrow there. Prescott, we're not trying to turn this one back, but it's too little. They've given up two. That jungle does not belong to them. They needed to slow for the dragon. They thought they could get the bounty, but G2 took off and they just immediately turned it around, and now they're scrambling. G2, they want to end this. G2 may have faltered in the first series versus MDK. They may have been caught off guard, but in the final moments of this game four, they refuse to fall. Can Mad Lions Koi say the same? Mirwan finding the first kill, the fight kicking off. Everything comes down to this Gwen. Frescaui there as well. Flash out from Hansama. Buys them a bit more time. They will stay standing. HP needs to be replenished. MDK will find a window, though. They've secured a mid tower. Get a little bit more gold. Mirwin is really. Oh, wait, but they know that they're on the dragon. They think that they can just go for the end. G2. No TP available on Mirwin. Creativity coming through. No, okay, they, the no. angle. they hold off. They decide not to. They'll give over the bounty. Now the resets from G2 will finally come through. Mirren has to be super. Yeah, Alvaro, good read there. Recognizes how much danger his AD carry is in, but he's going to pay the price. Losing so much health, manages to find the knockoff button too, but Mirren's not in a position. He's not set up MDK. The range from G2 and Broken Blade, despite the early game, is here. Needlework now coming in. Yike going to be in trouble. Mirren trying to bring this one back. The ulti good. He goes golden, but it's just enough time to watch his team die before his eyes. Frescaui though, Hansama out. Is it enough? Can the Yone do a Q3 now coming through the three members on top of him? It is not. G2 in the LEC. Winter, spring, and summer.
to the lower bracket. They'd have no other way. The season final stands in front of them. G2 and Fnatic, as it was before, as it is again, it is inevitable. G2 return to the finals. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.